welcome to rainy nights in this part of the country and the players are going to have to deal with wet con conditions at St James's Park I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson and very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League it's Newcastle United up against Tottenham Hotspur Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? So the starting 11 for Newcastle United. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Kieran Trippier starts with Matt Target in the fullback positions. Miguel Almiron plays with Alain Saint Maxima out wide. And the striker is a player with considerable know how, Callum Wilson. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Pierre Emile Hoybier plays alongside Oliver Skip in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. Well, he let them go on, but now he's going to deal with the yellow card situation. Yeah, and he was always going to be booked for that challenge. It was a poor one, you have to say. And Stuart, there's good reason to believe that Harry Kane's incisive presence could represent the difference today. Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Guimaraes and scope for them to produce something exciting oh wonderful save well he reacts so quickly there that's a great save he's driven in the corner and they deal with the threat this time speculative effort here Oh, he's missed, but by a minuscule margin. Well, he couldn't have made better contact than that. His technique is brilliant. He's so unlucky there. Oliver Skip. Now Harry Kane. Son. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Bruno Guimaraes. Longstaff. And Newcastle pushing forward with options available. Almiron. And now Trippier. What a shocking pass, really. It's a weighted pass. Perisic. And return to Son. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Callum Wilson. Opportunity it is. It's got to be. A goal! On the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. One nil then. Nicely timed tackle. Callum Wilson. It's with Joe Linton. Guimaraes.
Trippier. Chance to play it in. In position. Still possibilities. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Fabian Scher. Well, that save could be the turning point here because they've been second best all over the pitch up to now. Well, it was a splendid piece of goalkeeping, but he has to remain on his toes. Trippier. Teammates in the middle. Still not clear. Wilson. Firing it towards goal and throwing himself at the ball. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, not the best clearance. Now they're sitting ever deeper. That's useful play. Joel Linton. Long staff. Trippier. And on the ball is Cher. Longstaff. Bruno Guimaraes. Wilson with it. It's neat passing. Confidence on the ball. Sam Aksima. Longstaff. Well, they know they need to stop him. The cross is on. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Well, we're at the halfway mark here at St. James's. Well, the ball is moving again. Spurs trailing going into the second half. Can they summon the right response? Son. Determined defending. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Sam Aksima. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Romero Harry Kane Oliver Skip Perisic Unable to keep the ball San Maxima Joel Linton and fired against the crossbar and problem solved for now well Spurs are only one down but I'm not sure how that was so close they need a reaction here well we're into the final half hour
And that was a very fine read. Newcastle moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Now just the tackle that was needed. Long staff. And now Trippier. Long staff. Will he finish? And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two goal lead now. Well, just look at the defending here. The keeper is left totally exposed. It's an easy goal in the end, but well taken. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. 2 0 now and back underway. Throw in then for Newcastle. Well, the hosts, as you can see, have enjoyed so much possession and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. Indeed, perhaps they can cash in again. Let's see. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Harry Kane. And on to Emerson. And he keeps going. Kane. A wonderful intervention. Joe Linton. Now with Sam Maxima. Might be dangerous. Trippier. Long staff. Great opportunity. Goalkeeper in charge of the situation. <laughs> He's driven in the corner. Didn't quite go to plan. Harry Kane. Ten minutes left for play. Son Eric Dyer Pedro Porro Dan Yuma Safe pair of hands did his job Sam Aximan into the advanced position but they took care of the situation defensively. Well, nearing the end of the game, and Newcastle in cruise control. Well, they've been much the better side up to now. Some of their approach play has been excellent. They just need to control possession for these final few minutes to cap off a really good display. Guimaraes. Target. And a long way out. Well, it could have been a better effort, and I think we were all expecting it would be. Kane. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Ivan Perisic. 
And sloppy in possession. Joel Linton. And there goes the final whistle. It is a happy story as far as Newcastle are concerned. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Well, I don't think, Stuart, anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Well, I thought his all-round game was excellent. It was his ability to find space that impressed me most. And with a bit more luck, he could have had a second one today.